Watch what happens. What happens when we allow sin in our life? What happens when we disobey? What happens when we cheat? What happens when we steal? What happens when we disobey? What happens when we lie? What happens when we do things that are wrong? Well, sin dirties us. My heart was dark with sin until the Savior came in. You know how that song goes. But here's the problem. Now that I have sin inside, I'm no longer clean. And my heart is dirty. The Bible says he knows the thoughts and intents of our heart. My sin has a penalty for sin. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that breaks God's law, like lying, cheating, stealing. And in so doing, it makes me dirty. And no sin can go to heaven. So God put a price tag on sin. He says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So when I get Jesus to come inside, watch what happens. (laughs) Isn't that awesome? And when I get Jesus to come inside, he forgives my sin. The Bible says in John 1, 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So when I have Jesus inside, he cleanses me. Well, watch this. Now what happens if I sin again? See, once I'm saved, he gives me eternal life. He says, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand, even though I sin again and again and again. Because I have Jesus inside, my sins are forgiven, and he keeps me clean. Isn't that a neat object lesson? So how do you do it? Well, first you're going to need a few items. You're going to need, obviously, water three glasses, print some off or write them out, and then uh, you're gonna need some iodine and some bleach. What I usually do is I take the iodine and I pour it into the sin. And I try to make it not touch the wall of the glass uh, because it will kind of ruin the illusion. Not a whole, whole lot, doesn't take much. Uh, Then you just kind of stir it in. And you take the bleach, not watered down, and you pour the bleach into the Jesus vial. And that's all you need. And then you're going to take and pour the sin into the person, and then Jesus into the person, and see what happens. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, I hope you do that today. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.